Hi, I'm Lin Yang, an OpenStack developer from OTC DCSM team. This demo is prepared by Alex and I to show how to create a new metadata definition from CIM and how Nova leverages this namespace to control VM scheduling. Uh, at first, as we know, the OpenStack Kilo release introduced uh, support for defining metadata definition and uh, associating the same with different resource types. Uh, it's necessary to adopt the common set of metadata, especially for the hardware architecture, instruction set, and uh, their extensions. So we are trying to add a new metadata definition in OpenStack from CIM. Uh, currently, the spec has been accepted into Metaka release, and the patch is pending in Garrett for review. Uh, in general, the workflow will like this. First, uh, we create a new metadata definition from CM. Uh, then the OpenStack cloud admin can associate this specific tags from metadata to different OpenStack resource, like uh, image and uh, host aggregate. Then admin need to enable a new uh, Nova filter, which will uh, check whether host aggregate satisfy all requirements from image metadata uh, during the VM scheduling. Uh, finally, the user can launch instance as usual. The VM will be scheduled to uh, proper com compute node, whose property is a superset of image property. If not, Nova will give back a uh, an error message to user about uh, cannot find a valid host for this image. Let's take a look at uh, how it works. Uh, this is a dev stack environment in one single node. In metadata definition, in the uh, in the metadata definition page, we can see. Uh, one new metadata is import from CM, the processing allocation setting data class. Uh, in the overview tab, we can see uh, uh, this metadata can be associated to four resource types, image, volumes, uh, Nova flavor, and uh, Nova aggregate. And uh, in the content, content tab, we can see uh, this metadata contains uh, three property here. Uh, processor architecture, uh, instruction set extension, and, uh, and uh, instruction set. Uh, here, I will update one image metadata to add new tags. So I choose one and uh, in this page, the admin can see all metadata which can be associated to the image. And uh, yeah, this one is uh, the new one we just uh, import. And uh, you can see it uh, contains uh, three property. And uh, one property here, CIM processor architecture has been set to uh, X, sitting, uh, uh, X86. Let's double check. Uh, you can see just uh, we have one more customer property uh, has been set to x18.6. And uh, then in the host aggregate page, uh, I have created one host aggregate. Also, I will update the metadata of it. Just choose the same one and uh, uh, yeah, here, click uh, the button and uh, choose the x18.6. Click Save. So we can see a uh, new uh, text has been associated to this aggregate. Before we launch a new instance, uh, the admin should uh, uh, enable a new NOAA filter. Here, I just uh, create a new one, uh, aggregate CM filter, and uh, add it to the uh, default filter list. So 
Here, I just uh, launch an instance as usual. And uh, choose the image. I just uh, update the metadata. Yeah, we can see the instance is created uh, as we expect. Yeah, it, it's running now. And uh, uh, what will happen if we just remove remove the tags from the the host aggregate? I just remove it and save. Let's try to launch another instance. Name demo2. And uh, choose the same image. So we can see the status is arrow. And uh, in the detail page, we can see the message, no valid host uh, was found. So you can see in in this solution, the uh, Nova scheduler can make sure the image with the specific tags can will be uh, will be launched on the uh, a proper uh, compute node. Yeah, this is all for this demo. Thank you.